So before I show you this demo, I really quickly want to just show you what this looks like inside a Quartz Composer so you have a better idea of what's happening behind the scenes here. So this is the brain patch, which is basically a neural network built entirely in Quartz Composer to help solve really complicated problems through a really simple interface of teaching it through example. And so the way it works is you give it a question and then you tell it the answer to that question and teach it. And it will automatically figure out then how to solve that problem and answer the question on its own. And so to demonstrate this, I've built this little example where we're gonna teach it to recognize drawings and turn them into emojis. And so in this case, our question will be the drawing that we do and the answer will be the emoji. So let me show you this. So we've got this happy emoji here. And what we wanna do is teach the brain to show us that when we draw this sort of happy smile shape. And we also wanna teach it that when we draw a frown to show us the sad emoji, that means sad. And so now we're gonna let it think for a second and it's figured that out. And now we can draw a smile and it automatically figures out that that means happy. And you can draw a frown and it knows that that means sad. But if we try to draw other stuff like a heart or a teardrop, it doesn't yet know what that means. So we need to teach it that. So we can go back to teach here and we can draw a teardrop, tell it that that means cry. We can draw a heart and tell it that this shape means show us the love emoji. We can draw a Z, say that means show us the sleepy emoji. Do these sunglasses, tell it that means cool. We'll draw a dollar sign, tell it that that means rich. Do a big open smile and say that means laugh. Straight line, we'll say that means poker face. And we'll do a tongue and say that means silly. And then we're gonna draw these same shapes just a couple more times to give the brain patch a few more examples of variations on these same drawings. And I'll speed this up so we don't need to sit through it. But once we've done that, the brain's gonna go over and over and over all these lessons that we've taught it and figure out how to solve this automatically. And with each lesson, it's gonna get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better until it's able to solve the question and answer correctly. And so now we can try it out. We can still draw the same smile and get the happy emoji and the frown and get the sad. But it also knows if we draw the straight line, it means the poker face. If you draw the teardrop, it means cry. If you draw the big open smile, it means laugh. If you draw a Z, it means sleepy. And there's no pre-programmed rules here that are telling it a curved line means this or that. It's all being figured out automatically based on the examples that we taught it. And what's really cool is you can draw these like a tall skinny heart, or you can draw a big fat heart, or a small heart, and it still knows what we mean. So going back into Quartz Composer now that we've taught it this, what we're doing is we're giving it a question, which is the drawing in this case, and then it's outputting an answer, which is the emoji. And then it's also outputting some information about what's happening inside of the brain. So if you wanna draw a neural network graph, you can do that really easily. And then there's also a settings patch that goes along with it. So if you wanna configure some more technical stuff like the number of neurons, you can do that too. So taking a look at underneath the hood of the brain patch, there's a lot going on here, but essentially what it's doing is taking the raw information we're giving it and turning it into a signal that is fed through a web of layered connections. And each one of these connections either amplifies or reduces a different part of the signal. So by the time it reaches the end of the neural network, it's been directed right at the answer we're looking for. And so when the brain patch is learning, it's going through all the different examples we taught it one by one and each time adjusting the strength of all the connections to make it a little smarter than it was last time. And so once it's done learning, you can feed it a question and that flows through the neural network and comes out the other end as an answer. So that's the brain patch. It's sort of crazy on the inside, but from the outside, it's actually pretty simple. And so this drawing demo is just one example of how you might use this patch but the same process that allows it to learn and recognize what this shape means also allows it to learn a whole lot of other stuff. And so it'd be interesting to think if this kind of thing were made a little bit easier to use, what kind of ideas might come out of it?